we've woken up to a beautiful clear morning. An epic clearing to have a good glass up with tops as well. Hopefully we spot either some reds or some shimmy. That's the animals that we're targeting this trip. And um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Just gonna make our way over to here. Have a good glass of all this, see if there's any animals that show themselves. First couple of animals of the trip. Tuck that over there. Yeah, man. Woo. Dear down. Two of them. Yeah, buddy. Good job. Man. What an epic spot. I didn't actually think I hit that one. Yeah, no, you nailed it. Oh, I was, it was actually really good that we got the hind first because um, the um, yearling just hung around, eh? Just was not going anywhere. Just like, where the heck is mum gone? <laughs> And yeah, it allowed me to get a pretty good rest down there, which I'm pretty chuffed about. Oh, awesome. All right, we need to take note of where they are. They're not too far from each other. And, um, yeah. Go find them. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. <laughs> awesome. Having venison tonight. Oh, there's blood here. Oh, good blood trail. You can smell it. Main, just behind the shoulder. That's awesome. Nice middle age hind. Quad. Yeah. The mine is literally just here. Beauty. Oh, I love the winter coats. Cool. Perfect. Now the hard part. <laughs> So we've done all of our butchering now with 
We've got um, four back legs, three front legs, back straps, and tenderloins in the heart. I think we did pretty well at getting as much meat as we could. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we've just got a cooling and we may look at going up here. This is awesome country. Just sitting down having lunch and pulled up my binos, looked down there straight away and this hind and yearling obviously the same idea as us. Just popped out for smoker. So we made it back down to the meat and we're um, just gonna pack our bags and make it back to camp. Been glassing for how long we've been there? Like two or three hours? And um, we've, yeah, we saw two animals, which you'll see, uh, but that was it. They were safe from us. Um, we've already got our meat animals, so we didn't need any more. Just having a bit of a nosy, and yeah, um, it just got a bit cold, really. So we're just going to head back to the tent and um, have a bit of a boil up, pick up some food, and maybe head back out just before dark and see if anything comes out of the bush line. Pretty um, heavy load of meat, so to walk out tomorrow with the rest of our gear is going to be a struggle, but thankfully it's mostly downhill. Time to get some food into us. Got that for later. Whoa. out for one last bit of an evening watch. Let's see if there's anything else that comes out. Anything worth shooting. And um, I don't think it would be time we tuck up and get in bed because it's pretty cold. Oh well, that didn't take long. Just spotted a hind uh, walking out of the edge of the bush for a feed. Um, yeah, pretty much exactly on cue, so see if anything else comes out. But uh, now the hind's pretty safe. Our packs are pretty full of meat. I think the only reason we'll shoot another animal is if it's a whopper stag. And um, even then, we've still got to carry the meat, so maybe every animal's safe at the moment. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, it's still cool seeing them anyway. Such epic country. Morning. <laughs> oh well, that's uh, pretty much the trip over. We've just got to walk out now. Uh, packs are loaded pretty heavy. Interested to weigh them when we get back down to the vehicles and see what's in them. But um, luckily it's mostly downhill. Um, but nah, always epic to check out a new spot like this and even better to bag ourselves an animal each. Um, so yeah, until next time. <laughs>